Hello and welcome to this tutorial on type hints in Python. So I published this article on my website pythonology.eu and I'm going to go through some parts of it very briefly and then I'll get to Visual Studio Code. We'll install an extension called uh, Type Checker and we'll see how it works. What are type hints? Why are they useful? And how do we work with them? Well, types, when we say types, we simply mean data types such as floats, integers, uh, strings, and others. Now, you can divide or categorize programming languages in, from different perspectives. One of them is their type system. So some languages are known to be statically typed languages, some are dynamically typed. And when we say statically typed, something like Java or C++, we mean that you mention the type statically, that is explicitly, when you declare a variable. For example, if you want to set uh, declare a variable name and set the value of it to John or assign John to that variable, you need to say to Java that, hey, I want to store this name as a string. This type, it needs to be explicitly mentioned. Or, for example, for age, which is 30, you need to mention it's going to be an integer. Now, if for some reason you mistakenly pass in John to age, which is supposed to be an integer, Java will not accept it, will throw an error that I have prepared a space for an integer, but you just gave me a string. It's not acceptable. But Dynamically typed languages are not like that. Their type is inferred or determined at runtime. What it means is you don't need to explicitly mention the data type here. You don't need to say string name John. So Python will look at the value, not the type. We'll look at the value, which is John, and we'll infer that, well, it's inside quotes, double or single quotes, it's a bunch of uh, characters, so I'm going to store it as a string and I will treat it as a string. Or with this one, 30, it's an integer. So now you might ask, so why then do we need to add types? Because it seems to be much easier than Java. Well, you are right. It is easier but it's also prone to some errors. It's not that readable. So if I had another variable called, I don't know, x, x, y, whatever, how do you know what kind of value it receives? You don't. So when your code base grows, you have a lot of functions. You need to know, or other developers, when they read your code, need to know what this function returns. Is it going to return a string, an integer, a boolean? What is it? Or a variable? What is this variable going to be? An integer? What is it? So you can do it for readability. And IDEs also support that. Um, another important thing is that Python does not enforce typing. So in Java, you see when you mention a string, Java will enforce it. That is, it has to be a string, otherwise it will not run successfully. But in Python, even if you mention that, hey, I want this to be a string, and you pass in 30, Python said, okay, that type is a hint, basically, only for other developers. Okay, now let's see how it works. Let's get to uh, the Visual Studio Code. And here, I'm just going to start by downloading, well, I've downloaded that actually before. It's called um, type checker which is here, MyPy Type Checker by Microsoft. Just install this one and let's get to work. So I'm going to add one variable name and I'm going to set it to John. And I'm going to have another one like age. And let's have another one called I don't know, is married to false or true, for example. And the price to 9.99. So we have a string, an integer, boolean, and a float here. So this works perfectly well. If I print, if I do it in functions, everything's fine. This is how you did it before. But now if I want to hint the types, suggest the types, right after the variable, I need a column, and I mention the data type, in this case, a string. 
for age it would be a an integer for the is married it's going to be a boolean so bool and for price it's going to be a float and you can see my IDE also recognizes this and does not consider it as an error perfect now let's see how we can use this in function for the return value let's define a function called yes this one actually works fine greet it takes one argument this parameter name and type hint I'm gonna say this name is supposed to be or expected to be a string colon str and this is how you specify the return value or type you're gonna say dash greater than an arrow str meaning I expect to return a string for this function and it should work if I go down here and if I print uh, greet and then I would say um, well actually name the name that I'm going to use here if I save this and if I run this you see hello John it works but what if I add something like 56 for example control s when I save it control s you see I get my pie type checker throws an error incompatible return value type got int this is an int expected str this expectation comes from here so now when I run this you see it works well there is nothing with the runtime the running the only thing is here we get the error so Python does not enforce it only some third-party libraries will show you there are some errors so it's very helpful in that case I remember always also try to comment your code using dog strings so um, let me just see what happened here yeah here so here I just added this dog string which is here would say I don't know it says hello keyword arguments and then you, see, you can see argument uh, name for example name of a person and returns uh, greeting something like greetings greetings that's it so here let's change it back to something uh, more rational like hello and then the name would go here and that is it now if I want to check the if I want to use the help function in Python that is help which is a built-in function in Python I can pass in the name of this function greet into it as a, as a parameter here and does not yeah that's uh, it returns null actually so now here if I run this let's see what happens you can see that we get help on this function greet greet name which is going to be a string returns a string says hello keyword arguments name blah blah so this is a great way of documenting your code now you might think what if I don't know what it returns maybe I have an if and else statement that if something is true returns a string like hello if uh, something is false it returns like a number in that case if you're not sure what you're going to return you can use any but any is not defined as you can see so we need to import it from the typing module in Python so I would say yes from typing import any so this works okay and now I can see there is no error in here and if I run it again works perfectly fine well that was it about um, type hints in uh, Python you can find documentation which is quite long there are a lot of things about typing it's not just this but this is the most basic concepts you can learn from it so I hope you liked the video and I would again highly recommend you uh, just go through my website you can take a look at the the articles for example this one is about Thunny 
and how to set up a virtual environment in Thunny. This one is by Type Hints and a lot of others. Thank you very much for watching and listening.